Good morning, good afternoon. It's thundering. Why? Okay, stop. So let me hurry up. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever and wherever you're watching this video. I'm Alexis and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a more beauty hair type video. So last year I modeled um, some ponytails for this company called Heat Free Hair and I am completely obsessed. I currently am wearing the 18 inch um, everyday full um, but they also have shorter versions, longer versions, um, different textures, things like that. You can do so many different styles with it but today I'm just going to be showing how I just install my regular slick back ponytail but there's a lot of possibilities with this thing, okay? So if you wanna know how I achieve this slick back ponytail look on my natural hair, make sure you keep watching. Okay, so my hair is freshly washed and I'm ready to go. I'm just refreshing up with some water so that it's completely drenched. Then I just go into my typical routine using my intensive hydration leave-in milk from Shea Moisture. Um, basically just putting that all through my hair. I also used another leave-in since I was running low. So this is the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. Um, and then I just made a mess and put this all throughout my hair as well. Next, I just went in with my Curl and Style Milk. My hair loves this stuff. So using it as regular, um, just putting it all throughout my hair and then going in with some oil okay girl <laughs> going in with some oil I typically use a grapeseed oil or um, a hot six oil but I just use some castor oil that I bought from Instagram <laughs> so now parting my hair and just prepping for the slick back so I almost always do a side part when I do this look but you of course could do a middle part so when I see that's where I wanted, I go in with my Eco Styler Gel. I use the Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil version um, and really just use a good amount across my entire head. I know some people um, go section by section and really go in depth. I kind of just use my best judgment on how much I want to use that day and it's been working for me. So putting that all throughout my hair, then going in with a Denman brush, just brushing throughout my hair to just make sure that I can smooth everything out into a ponytail. If you know that your hair is hard to detangle, you can of course go section by section, but I typically detangle when I deep condition, and since this is freshly washed, I'm good to go. Um, then I just take a soft brush. This is what's really going to create those waves. As you can see, oh yes, it's just slicking back. <laughs> but yeah, just brushing it back into a holder pony. I call it a holder because we're going to fix it. So taking this curl mousse, this is actually um, what they did when they styled our hair for the photo shoots so that's why I got it and I really like it so using the mousse all over my hair this is kind of just going to set it and um, putting it over where the gel was and rebrushing everything so that it's super neat and super clean and I know this seems like a lot of product and just a lot of work but I promise you it's not um, I'm just extra <laughs> so now I'm just redoing the pony the holder pony like I said earlier and just redoing that so that it's cleaner and just a tighter one for our ponytail then just twist up the ends of your ponytail so that we can wrap it around to make it as tight as possible for when we put on the drawstring and then we will just secure that with another hair tie Then I normally just refreshen it up with any extra product that I think I might need to really hold it in place. Then taking my little edge brush, this is where I just do my edges. And I don't know, I don't really have a science to it. I just brush them down and then use the comb and to lead it into the direction I want it to go in. All right, quick wave check. We can see that they are already starting to form, but you know, you haven't seen nothing yet. 
Yeah, we got the slick back down and now we are going to take our styling strips. This is completely optional. Like I said, this is just a step that um, they did when they styled our hair for the photo shoot. So I've just been doing it this way ever since. Um, using a total of three of them and wrapping them literally across my entire head. Um, laughing at myself in a few minutes because I realized I looked like a nun. But that's okay um, because it's going to pay off. <laughs> So just tying it in the back and then I'm going to go do my makeup. So waiting about 20 minutes, come back full face and we can get ready to take off all of this wrap to put on our ponytail. So now that we are ready, I just get my four curls collection, 18 inch everyday full ponytail. This is what the curl pattern looks like. It's held up pretty well. I've had it for a while. Um, this comes with two combs and a jawstring making it super easy to put on your head. So I just take the bottom comb and put it under my bun and then the top comb to be on top of it. So really simple. Um, then just squeeze the little button on the drawstring and pull in order to tighten the ponytail onto your head. So adjust as needed and then when you're ready, take the drawstring and just wrap it around your ponytail in order to tighten it up. And then you can just take a bobby pin to secure it in place. Then I just take a piece from the ponytail out and wrap that around the ponytail to camouflage any jawstrings that might be peeping out. And then you're done. It's literally that easy. Now you're ready to step out and look fabulous. I'm getting a little, a little flyaway. Let's fix that. So yeah, that is how I install my heat-free hair ponytail and I wear this ponytail all the time Like I said, it is a quick and easy way to just spruce up yourself and look like you took a lot of time to do it And this is not a sponsored video, but I'm obsessed Make sure you give this video a thumbs up comment down below if you want me to do more videos like this Or if you have any specific requests for me to try on my natural head um, Share with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel Turn on your post notifications. Do all of that. Yes. Thank you for watching and I'll be posting again soon. Bye.